There is a saying that in computer science, there are only two hard things. One is naming and the other one is cache invalidation. So at least we can fix the naming with Java. So um, I call this pattern var var and um, I show you how it works. So I have a class called var. The classes usually have state. So um, you can think about the, a proper name or just call it var. So should work. Now I create a constructor. Uh, constructor. And um, of course, it's called var. And then we will just set the state and call it duke is var var. Okay, that's the new pattern. Okay, so usually uh, I would have to create a getter and setter. But uh, in Java, we like layers. So instead of doing that, I would like just to return a slice of the state. Of, of course, I have only one attribute. Usually, I will have more attributes for this reason. I could create a record. So let's do this, a record. And uh, I can call the record var. The problem is, of course, the um, this is a little bit sad because this var collides with the other var, but I can use capital K. So this is a little bit odd, but um, yeah. Uh, also, also, even Java has limits, right? So what I would like to do is, so okay, in this particular case, I would like uh, to hold the var here, so. And uh, what it should do is to return the state of the outer class. So um, what I have to do is then to create a method and now call it get var. Um, and this var returns, of course, this uh, var, uh, private var of the class, oh, sorry, uh, this uh, private var of the record. And then I can access, of course, the outer var here and just return that. So this is this is done. As you can see, I didn't even have to think about the naming. I just named everything var. So now uh, the real fun is how to use this. Um, this is actually no problem at all. So what I uh, can use uh, do right now, I can say, okay, what, uh, what I would like to do is I would like to have a var var. And this is an instance of uh, this var with a var. So this looks like this. And uh, what I can do then is I can say system out print line var get var and uh, it should work out of the box. So var app, uh, sorry, uh, var.java, obviously. As you can see, Duke is var var. It works perfectly. So I would say um, Java is a simple programming language. You don't even have you know, to think about naming. You can just use var keyword for everything.